So let's have a look at the audio notes function in XMind 2013. It's very simple to use. Unfortunately, there are no shortcuts to it. You can always create your own, obviously, but you can go ahead and add audio notes very quickly. Now, I want to make sure everyone's aware of this. This is only available, this is available as part of the business toolbox, which is part of XMind Pro or the XMind subscription. So this is not part of the free XMind. You have to have a paid, to, a paid version of XMind, either Pro or the subscription, in order to get this function, okay? Let's go ahead and I'll show you how it works. The first thing you want to do when you're choosing an audio note is you want to make sure you figure out which node you want to put it in. And by a node, I just simply mean which, you know, any of the boxes that we're talking about or the, or the rectangles that we're looking at. We can go ahead and we can choose that as a node. The audio note will be one level bl below that, one level down from that. So let's choose audio notes and I'll go ahead and we'll make an audio note in the audio note section. Two ways to get there. One is either the red square button if you have your, all your buttons lined up here. Otherwise, we can go into insert audio notes and we can go ahead from there. So let's go ahead and we'll, let's record something. Kevin, you make great mind maps and you're very smart. When we're done recording, we can hit the end button. We can close this up and there you go. If you want to listen to it, you can just simply go ahead and click on the green button and you're all set from there. When I first thought about the idea of having audio notes in mind maps, I thought, oh, that's, that's just going to clutter things. But, you know, sometimes you have this idea running around in your head and you just need to get it out. And sometimes you don't have time to sit there and type things out. So if the mind mapping isn't working for you, click on the audio note. Or if maybe you've had a meeting, you can record part of the meeting, attach that to the mind map. And that way, whoever's working on it can just go back and listen to what the instructions were and go ahead and take care of things. It's actually a very, very powerful tool, something I'm excited about. Audio notes in XMind 2013. If you found this video useful, get the cheat sheet. It's an XMind workbook filled with tutorials, videos, and links, and all sorts of cool stuff. Imagine that, using XMind to help you use XMind. You can get it by following the link below. All I ask in exchange is that you give my newsletter a chance. Thanks for watching.